Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, today I'm going to cover that uh, very important topic like uh, for framework point of view as well as uh, interview point of view, no doubt. That what do you mean by singleton pattern or singleton class in Java? And how can you achieve the same concept or how can you implement the same concept in Selenium framework? Okay, uh, so singleton is a pattern. So first of all, singleton is not such like any keyword or any special, uh, you know, keyword you have to define or any special package is available in the form of uh, jar files or something like that. It's not at all like that. It's a kind of approach and there are different approaches. So we will, we, I'll be covering one of the best approach, okay, which will be used in your automation also. You can use the same thing in your automation framework, okay, and you may, you, you may have seen like uh, such kind of approaches okay in your framework in your previous frameworks also so it's very simple but it's a little confusing so try to understand what exactly the singleton class in java or singleton pattern okay so i have already created one uh, one project here okay under this package uh, practice package is there i'm going to create a class so first i'll show you that how exactly that uh, what is singleton concept and then we will implement the same thing in in selenium quickly Okay, so let me create a class. Let's see, my class name is uh, singleton concept, or let's see, only singleton. Okay, and uh, what I'm going to do here, uh, okay, and that's it. Click on, or let's see, select the main method also. Click on finish. So, what I'll do inside the singleton class, so first of all, we have to understand what do you mean by singleton. See, a singleton means in object-oriented programming, a singleton class is a special class that can have only and only one object, only single instance of the class at a time. Okay, at a time we can create only and only one object or single instantiate. Okay, if we are trying to create another object, it will point to the same object always. Right? So that is called singleton class. So after first time, if you try to instantiate a singleton class object, okay, or singleton class, if you try to instantiate, okay, we are going to instantiate with a new reference variable, right? Let's see, I'm writing test t is equal to a singleton s is equal to new singleton, like that, okay? So if I'm creating, if I'm trying to create another object with a new reference variable, okay, it will point to the same object always. So how to achieve that? So in singleton, always remember, to design a singleton class, first of all, what is singleton? That so we will write in object-oriented programming language a singleton class is a. I'll write some note for you guys. A class that can only okay that can have only one object. Okay, only one object or instance of the class okay that can have only one object or instance object and instance both are same thing guys instance of the class at a time okay this is called singleton okay pattern or singleton concept now how to achieve or how to design i would say how to design singleton class okay how to design singleton class in java so to do this thing we have to follow two things the first thing is that make sure that constructor of that class make constructor as private okay so for singleton class constructor always always it will be private constructor okay and we have to write a static method the second thing is write a static method that has written type object of written type object of i'll show you how to do that written type object of this singleton class okay and this concept is also called guys lazy initialization Okay, they will ask you at a time of interview, what do you mean by lazy initialization? Okay, and is Z by lazy initialization. Okay, so let's do it. How to do that? So first, what exactly I'll do that uh, 
and I'll tell you what is the difference between normal class and the singleton class. So this is let's see this is a sing normal class. How to convert this into singleton class? So first I'll do I'll define a variable that will be a private static variable. Okay. Private static. Let's see the variable reference of this particular class. So let's see this is my class name. Okay. And the reference variable is that let's see. <coughs> uh, singleton underscore reference or I would say singleton underscore instance is equal to I'll declare with none okay simple one reference I have created of this particular class this is a singleton class and this is the private okay I have declared with private <coughs> reference variable I have created which is okay pointing to none it's pointing to nothing I'm not creating any object as of now okay and let's see simple variable also i'll create so that we can take some example let's see public string str okay this variable also i have created okay now what i'll do i'll create the constructor of this particular class so as i told you that first we have to create the constructor of this particular class and we know that constructor should be as the class name and it should be privately declared so i'll use private the constructor name is singleton and uh, this is the starting body and an ending body and simple i'll initialize <coughs> this str okay and this str is equal to simple i'm using hey i'm using a uh, simple let's see i'm using singleton class pattern simple any string simple let's see i have declared one string don't worry, we will explain <clears throat> what exactly the purpose of this. And then after that, what we have to do, guys, we have to write a static method. It should be a public method. Okay. I would say public static method that has a written type of object of this particular singleton class. Now we have to achieve the second point, the lazy initialization. So I'll declare one public static. Okay public static let's see my method name is uh, we have to declare one method that is called get instance method okay get instance method you have to write what exactly this method will return this method will return okay the instance of this particular class the object of this particular class this part particular method return the instance of this particular class singleton class now <coughs> i'll put one if condition over here if now see if this reference variable okay is also part of singleton right so if this particular reference variable okay is equal to equal to null if it is equal to null then what exactly we have to do then initialize this particular instance variable is equal to new okay singleton if it is null then only you have to initialize otherwise no need to initialize so obviously first time it will be null so it will be initialized simple i'm creating the object of this particular class and this is a reference variable okay and then what exactly i'll do then simple return what return this singleton instance okay so it will return singleton instance let's see what exactly it's saying add return statement okay what i'll do Okay, I'll write over here. Okay, simple. Or better, I'll do one thing. Let me remove this thing because there is only one if condition. So simple, it's returning this particular reference now. Okay. Now, so both the things I have achieved make constructor as private. So the private constructor also I have created, and one get instance method you have to call this method name is get instance we have to create a static method the method name is get instance method okay and it should be publicly declared static method and it should return what the return type of this method is singleton class okay like this and guys it can be anything the class name it can be anything don't worry about the class name and uh, after that if it is null then only create the object and return otherwise no need to do that then only it will come inside the if part otherwise it will not do that now how to test it so if you test where is my main method my main method is written over here public static void main okay 
Now inside the main method, we will test this particular feature. Okay. Let me. So inside the main method, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one thing that we know that this is a static method. Okay. Get instance method is a static method. So it can be called by class name. So simple. This is my class name. Okay. Get instance dot single. Okay. Get instance method. I'm going to call it. So get instance method. What exactly it will return? Get instance method is returning singleton class object. So I'll store in some singleton class reference variable like this. Let's see x is equal to this. Right. I'm storing inside the reference. Right. So what is the value of x? x is pointing to get instance method is returning what singleton class object. Right. Simple. The moment I call it, it will come over here. It will check. Okay. Singleton class is equal to null. Yes, it is null. Condition is satisfied. It will return singleton class object now which is pointing to this particular okay object it will return one reference which is pointing to singleton class object i am storing inside the singleton x why because this reference is also part okay type of singleton so i have to store in singleton only right obviously and i'll create one more okay similarly i'll create one more ob okay object reference like this x and y okay x and y by calling two times get instance method and let's see one more I'll create okay so three objects I'm creating x three references I'm creating and three times I'm calling this particular method okay so in, I'm instantiating singleton class with variable x variable y and variable z okay three times now what I'll do simple now see by using this okay x can I use this x dot str? Yes, I can do that. Why? Because this x is pointing to okay singleton class object so that I can access this particular str. Right? I can access this particular str because this str is the singleton class variable. Okay, so I can access this particular x dot str. And with this particular x dot str will return what? X dot str is a string. So what I'll do, can I do like this x.str, I'll convert this entire thing into, okay, to uppercase, okay. So x.str will return this particular string, I'm converting into, into complete uppercase, okay. So let me remove this comma unnecessary, <coughs> okay, to uppercase. And obviously it will return me a string, okay. So can I store like this, that x.str is equal to this. So what exactly you see try to understand this line x dot sti will return a string it will be converted into two uppercase again i'm storing in, inside the x dot str okay now i'll print this x dot str system dot out dot print talent okay simple x dot str i'm printing so let's see what happens so let's run this program and you will see the output is the complete uppercase i'm getting here i'm using singleton class pattern it's converting the entire thing into upper class with x with x reference now same thing what i'm gonna do okay i'm trying to access with y also okay x dot str y dot str and z dot str so what i'm gonna do here now if i'm going to run it what exactly it will do first time get instance method will be called it will be it will come over here it will check singleton instance is equal to equal to null it will create the object refer referred by this particular object and it will be returned and it will be given to x now again and this particular line again get instance method will be called it will come over here it will see that okay no singleton instance is not equal to null now it is already initialized with x so it will not come inside the if part so it will not return anything okay so why is if i'm trying to create another object it is not creating so only one object is getting okay created only one time this particular class is getting instantiated right so x is okay so x y z three times i'm creating okay i'm calling this particular method get instance method get instance method for z also again it will come over here it will check okay singleton instance equal to equal to null no because already initialized with x so it will not come inside the if part it will not return anything okay so what exactly this particular method it will return singleton instance okay only which is already 
pointing to an object okay so every time all these three objects will refer to the okay common in, okay common object of this particular lab this is called singleton and creating only single object okay trying to create multiple objects okay multiple object mechanism i'm trying to achieve but it's pointing to only and only one object okay now what i'll do so that's why with x.str y.str and z.str i'm getting the same or if i run this program see with x.str also i'm getting the same y also i'm getting the same and z also i'm getting the same because all these three references are pointing to the same object in that case okay so if you are making changes because of x y will be affected and z will be affected pointing to the same object over here so it is like this let me show you so <clears throat> okay so what exactly over here so the moment i'm creating this particular okay this with x this particular line so one object will be created over here this object got created point pointed by x again it is again i'm calling it is checking no it is not equal to null okay so it will not come inside the if part again it will return the same object the same object will be written and referred by y so y is also referred this referring this and z also is referring this particular object now if i'm trying to access that x dot str converting this particular string into uppercase and this str is over here this particular str is over here okay updated with uppercase with by x the same thing y also using y also y dot str if i'm trying to access with y i'm trying to access with z also it is pointing to the same object x dot str pointing to this y dot str pointing to this z dot str pointing to this so that's why for all these three objects okay i'm getting same output now if something is changed by z now now what will happen now see now if something is getting changed by z so let me remove this okay now what i'll do changing the variable of instance z so what exactly i'll do that simple z dot str now z dot str okay now with z dot str again i'm making it to lowercase dot to lowercase okay and storing into okay and again i'm printing system dot dot print and again same three statements i'm printing okay now see what will happen x dot str y dot str z dot str again because of z dot str okay because is z dot str it got converted into lowercase and now trying to access with x and y now let's see what happens see the output z dot str okay converting into lowercase now if i'm trying to access with y and z both are giving lowercase so earlier y was pointing to uppercase but because of z okay is converting into lowercase so it will be applicable for y and z also so guys that is called singleton pattern okay this is called singleton pattern so it is pointing to the same object that a singleton class is a class that can have only and only one object at a time okay so first you have to create the constructor and every time you have to check inside this particular method get instance method that if it is null okay if it is null then only create the object otherwise don't create it same thing we will do in selenium also if the driver is equal to null then only create the object otherwise don't do that okay so this is the concept of singleton okay so here what exactly we are doing the first time we call this get instance method it creates an object of that particular class with name okay singleton underscore instance and return it to the variable this x variable okay and again this uh, okay as a get instance method is static in nature because we have already declared with static okay so it is changed to null to some object so obviously we have declared with null so now it is pointing to some object because we have already declared with the singleton class object next time if we try to call get instance method again in the next line what exactly it will do since again or uh, now a uh, singleton underscore instance is not null now so it is returned to the variable same object will be returned to this particular y variable same thing same object will be returned to the z variable also okay so like this okay 
So this particular condition is very important in singleton at the time of interview you have to write this particular method and you have to write this condition. This is called lazy initialization. Okay. So now let's do the same thing in okay in selenium. So how to do that in selenium? So let me quickly create a class. Let's see in SRC test Java. Create a class. Let's see driver initialization or driver in it. Okay, we will write a test ng class. <clears throat> so we will not write uh, any main method over here. <coughs> As I told you that first time what we have to do, we have to declare one private static. Okay, that uh, let's see, this is a driver in it. Okay, one instance I'll create. Let's see, my instance name is instance driver. Okay, I'll create is equal to equal is equal to null. And this is type of driver in init class. Okay, driver init class. And I'll do one thing, I'll declare my private one variable that is called web driver variable that is driver. Okay. And uh, okay, just a minute, let me add the dependency of Selenium also quickly. Just a minute. Okay, so I'm adding the dependency of Selenium jar file inside my bomb.xml. So let me open my pom.xml and remove this dependency j unit. I don't need it. <clears throat> okay, and just simple save it. I'm using let's say 3.7.1. You can use 3.8.1, that doesn't matter. Okay. And uh, let it create the workspace. It's creating, it's downloading all the things. Let it download. Okay, so it's done. And uh, I'm going to add test change library also. In my project so we'll go to java build path add library and test ng library click on finish okay okay so test ng also i have added now i'll go back to my class and web driver i need to import it so simple import okay so this is done now as i told you we have to create the constructor of private constructor of this particular class so private constructor this and then like this okay private and uh, inside this private constructor i'm not gonna do anything simple let it be like this and what i'll do simple i'll create one method let's see public uh, okay this particular method will do public web driver let's see open browser Okay, public web driver open browser and uh, this method will return the web driver instance. So simple, let's see, I'm going to write driver is equal to okay, new Chrome driver. Okay, driver equal to new Chrome driver and uh, yeah, and this particular Chrome driver importing from here okay and uh, simple what exactly i'm gonna do simple it will return some simple chrome driver and we will uh, set the property also that system okay, dot set property of that is your web driver dot chrome dot driver and the value will be the chrome driver.exe file path so i think it should be there in my download folder and go to my downloads and chrome driver is over here get info you get the path okay and uh, the file name is chrome driver in your case, if you if you are using Windows machine, you have to use .exe. That is like okay. I'm doing this, and simple return. Okay, return what? Okay, return this particular instance driver. Okay, 
or not instance, this particular driver. Sorry. Return driver. Okay, simple. I have written. Now what I'll do, I'll create one get instance method now. Okay, let me public. Okay, public. As I told you, public is static. Get instance method is important, guys. And this method will return this. Okay, the driver in it. Okay, reference variable. And then I'll put that condition over here now. If this instance driver is equal to equal to null, if instance driver is equal to equal to null, then what do? Simple. Okay, then create the object of this particular class and initialize with instance driver. Okay, initialize with instance driver remove this and simple return what return this particular instance driver okay so this is the get instance method i have created over here okay so once i get this particular instance okay i'll call this particular method from my test class and then uh, I'll do this instance driver once I get this instance driver I can call this open browser method because open browser method is method available inside a driver init method simple and I declare the constructor okay with private now and uh, simple you can do the same thing in this particular thing in your driver init also but let it be like this now I'm gonna do what okay so let's see this is the thing I have created and uh, I'll create one more class that will be my test ng class. Let's see, <coughs> that is my page test class, right? And click on finish. Now see, guys, it's very important. So what I'm do, gonna do? So I know that this is the driver in a dot Java class. Okay, I'll call this particular get instance method. Simple. So how to call this is static so dot get dot just a minute. okay just a minute just a minute i need to make it <clears throat> okay so in this particular public class based test and first i'll create my before method at the rate before method because i'm using test ng let's see this is my public void setup method right and this before method importing from test ng and i know that i can call this driver okay in a class dot get instance method is there okay so driver dot get instance method what exactly it will do it will come over here it will return me instance driver okay an instance driver is a reference of driver in a class right so what i'll do i'll simply store just like in we did over here okay we store something like this okay instance class variable the so same thing i know that so driver in it <coughs> i'll store driver in it let's see uh instance driver is equal to this right instance driver is equal to this and now what i'm gonna do simple with the help of this instance driver dot now which method i have to call open browser method i have to call okay open browser so what will happen it will come over here open browser it will Call this particular method it will check okay chrome driver and it will return driver okay it will return driver over here okay so what i'll do it will return driver okay open driver will return one web driver instance so simple what i'll do over here once i get the <coughs> open instance i'll declare one web driver driver okay like this and uh, this particular driver i'll store somewhere here like this and web driver i'll initialize okay import it from here 
and now I'll create one at the rate test method public void let's see test method one and import it from test ng and with this particular driver once I get the driver driver dot what is the method let's see driver dot get http www dot google dot com and achieve and system dot dot print and I'm printing driver dot get title okay and I'll write one more at the rate after method public void let's see tear down okay and driver dot simple quit okay and this upgrade after method also I'll import okay now see I'll repeat in setup method simple what I'm doing over here instance driver it will simple open the browser it will come over here and it will check okay driver equal to new chrome driver and new return driver simple and then uh, this particular driver I have declared over here it will be given to this particular driver and then okay driver dot get okay it will store open browser will return what one driver instance which I'm storing over again here in that inside a driver instance because both are web driver okay so driver init dot get instance method is getting called it will check instance driver is equal to equal to null yes first time it is equal to null it will be initialized and then I'll get the object of this particular class now okay instance driver now tomorrow if someone from other class if again if I'm trying to call get instance method if I'm trying to create the object of this particular class driver init class it will come over here with the help of get instance method it will check it is not in, okay null now the second time okay so it will return the instance driver only without coming inside the if condition it will return instance driver only and once the instance driver is written again it is pointing to the same object right so we are achieving singleton pattern over here okay so let's run it let's see if it is working or not okay see it is running so google chrome somewhere is launching okay and it's printing the title of google is google okay guys so this is very simple to achieve always remember in in singleton in java point of view also if they are at a time of interview if they are asking you have to create these two things you have to tell make sure the constructor is private and uh, you have to write a public static method which is get instance method okay you have to return and this is lazy initialization okay lazy initialization this is called lazy initialization guys you have to achieve like this with the help of this particular if condition okay and then that's it how many you are creating if you are creating number of objects it will not allow you why because this particular instance is already done so what is the difference between singleton class and the normal class that is again the interview question what is the difference between singleton class and normal class the difference is in normal class and singleton class in terms of instantiation is that for normal class we use constructor to create the object okay wherein whereas for singleton class we use get instance method okay to create the object of to instantiate okay so what is the difference between normal class and the singleton class again that's an interview question difference between normal class and singleton class so what we have to do for normal class we use okay we have to create the constructor so that we can create the objects and number of constructor uh, we are create I mean we are calling and number of objects we are creating okay we use constructor whereas For singleton class, we use get instance method, okay, for instantiation. Okay, this is the difference between normal class and the singleton class. I hope you understand this concept. It's very simple, a little bit confusing, but this is the two steps you have to follow, guys. And if you want to achieve the same thing in uh, 
okay in selenium web driver you can you can create one driver initialization method over, i mean class over here and over here public constructor you have to create private constructor you have to create simple public method so that we can call other methods this is your utility maybe your base class you can write like this this is your base class and uh, and this is your get instance method okay always you have to create get instance method lazy initialization you have to achieve if you want to achieve singleton pattern okay which will return on the basis of null if it is null then only it will initialize otherwise it will not so maybe sometime it happens that okay because of some reason it got your web driver or maybe this instance driver of this particular class got uh, got declared with null okay again you have to call the get instance method and again you have to create the object of this so once you get the object you can call all the methods of this particular class okay so that's all for this particular session guys let me know if you have any doubts please try to achieve the same thing in your in your automation framework or in your uh, you know java framework whatever the work you are doing in terms of java automation or other things this is all about singleton pattern okay i hope you understood the concept it's very very important concept for interview point of view and let me know if you have any issues and this is my channel name guys navin automation labs okay please subscribe to the channel so we will be discussing a lot of things about uh, you know java automation selenium okay different new tools are there so we will be discussing about it okay so please share this video with others and let me know if you have any issues don't forget to like and press the bell icon guys thank you so much for that